Hi, it is Aikam time again. So today I'm going to sum up the Wing Chun uh, power handling for you so that you'll be able to see the bound and working within the boundary of the Wing Chun uh, engine. Okay, instead of going all around outside, but do not actually solve the issue or the core issue of the Wing Chun's uh, engine and uh, provide the needs or the support to the Wing Chun engine. As we have been seeing that in past uh, 100 years, that uh, people go around to Tai Chi, to internal, to all this mind and so forth, and uh, structure and, and, and everything, but it really doesn't solve whatever the uh, Wing Chun's uh, mechanics and power generations needed to make the sets of the Wing Chun King working and to be able to develop the skill of the Wing Chun uh, which is uh, designed for. Okay? So today I'd like to show you this so that you'll be able to hear on. Do not need to uh, go all around the world but can focus, concentrate Settle down and proceed with the Wing Chun uh, Kung Fu development in this area, okay? To get result instead of going all over the place, we have all different kind of philosophy and interpretations, but still go nowhere, go back to the square one, okay? Now, the first thing is on mechanical advantage or the mechanics of the Wing Chun, okay? The first mechanical, uh, sorry, the first, the, 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 within the mechanics of Wing Chun, the first is the mechanical advantage. So that means you deal with the incoming, or you receive the incoming, or when you need to uh, 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 dealing with the incoming, you're dealing it with a uh, retract arm, with the uh, short bridge or short uh, uh, arm length, okay, the length of the arm is short, okay, you deal with it with a retract arm and a short bridge here instead of an extended arm and a, a, a long arm this way, because to deal with it with this short arm is actually have more mechanical advantage than the long arm. So this is one of the key of how to handle a, a huge force coming to you with a smaller force, which is using this mechanical advantage of uh, retract the arm. Okay, so this key one. The second key is whenever stuck here or struggle here always retract the arm and move the body in to resolve the situations okay this is the key of the stick body short strike and also it is the mechanics of Wing Chun or the second key of the, uh, the, 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 the mechanical advantage okay the second key of the mechanical advantage which is Whenever get stuck, instead of going push, extend the arm and push, and usually using the body to push, no, you actually move in the body and lose up the, the, the arm, retract the arm in the same time to resolve that. Instead of getting to this push, pull, and brute force and a struggle. Okay, so that's the second. The third is this elbow get as close as possible to the waistline okay and this is much more e efficient and effective for using strength compared with this or this okay or this just put it down here okay close to the waistline close to the core so these three key the first is dealing with receiving with the short bridge okay or retract arm 
The second key is whenever there's a struggle to track the arm and uh, close in the body. Okay? The third thing is the elbow has to be this close to the waistline to get the best effective and efficiency of using strength. So this three key, okay, this three key within the mechanical advantage is actually uh, make a better use of strength and this is in ancient China, this is called using the small strength to handle the big strength because the long fist people always have this arm stretch up so there's a disadvantage with this uh, long, uh, long, uh, long arm stretching up versus the retract arm short bridge type of uh, mechanics okay so the three things now the second thing of the uh, Wing Chun mechanics is the tool. Okay, so usually people using the body to to uh, to support their uh, to to support their arm in front, push, 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 and struggle, struggle, struggle. Well, Wing Chun is using the tool. Okay, the tool of me. Okay, to do the job instead of dealing with this linear momentum, Wing Chun is using the torque or angular momentum. Okay, the torque. So this is the second key of the Wing Chun mechanics. So let me repeat again. The first key of the Wing Chun mechanics is the uh, mechanical advantage. Okay, and it has three things. One, when receiving and uh, handling the situations, retract the arm. Okay, for mechanical advantage. Second, as soon as you get into the struggle, retract the arm close in the body to get the mechanical uh, advantage. The third thing is your shoulder, uh, sorry, your elbow is close to your waistline for the best mechanical advantage. So the first is mechanical advantage, the second thing is using pull instead of using linear push and pull like usual. Okay? And uh, this is uh, actually not what people thought Wing Chun is linear, uh, Wing Chun is uh, uh, thrust forward, Wing Chun is rotating spinning using the angular momentum instead of the uh, linear momentum because uh, using the uh, angular momentum in, in as close as here have advantages in handling force or strength okay so this tool is the Wing Chun mechanics and we can find them in the Chang sets okay if you know this tool, you work on your Chang Kyu set, you're going to surely develop the Wing Chun skill. Okay? And uh, as we know, without understanding this, without knowing this, and going this direction, and working with this, it doesn't matter one do the Heng or the Tai Chi, okay, or Zhang Zhuang, the round of the Chan Chuang, it doesn't work for Wing Chun because Wing Chun is not designed for that way. Okay? Or you can say, well, you know, I can have Qi, I have kind of Yi, mind power, everything. It doesn't work because that's not how Chan Kyu set is designed for it. Okay? Now, so that's the mechanics, Wing Chun mechanics, which have the mechanical advantage and the Tuo and the mechanical advantage under it have three key there okay now the next two thing which you need to know is in handling 
the Wing Chun technique, there are two types of Wing Chun techniques, uh, two types of handling. One is called the body type, like for example, I throw the elbow, that is a body type. Okay, my limbs moving, that is the body type, you use your body type. Okay, that is the body type, which is Wing Chun music. Okay, the second thing is the force flow type, or in other words, using the action and reaction force. Meaning, when I'm this close, and there's pressure to my body, I don't have this space to generate my momentum and power. I end up has to use the action and reaction force handling of my body. Okay? So that is called the action and reaction force handling. So the first is the body type handling, the second is action and reaction uh, force handling or simply the force flow handling. Okay, the force flow handling. Now, so the force flow handling is handling the action and reaction force with very minimum moving of the body, while the body type is you move your body. Okay, you don't have to have the space. So in Wing Chun, when we get close, then using the forceful type or action reaction force handling is cannot be avoided, okay? Because it is playing this close, and you don't have room. You need to play with the action reaction force or make the best optimize of the action reaction force, okay? So that is the uh, force handling on on the. Uh, Action and reaction force type or force flow type and the body type. Okay, so body type and force flow type, two type. Okay. This two type is the basic of the Wing Chun, the basic core key of the Wing Chun. And then one in Wing Chun, one need to develop the impulse generations. Okay. The impulse generations can come either in the body type or the force flow type or the merging or fusion of the force flow and body type. Okay? So say I am going to uh, uh, inject inject a sun punch, okay? I'm injecting it, okay? Because Wing Chun is using snapshot, snap, impulse. Wing Chun is not using power punch like this, okay? Wing Chun is using the snap or impulse generations. And this impulse generations can be body type, like usually we use the wrist to snap the wrist type, okay? Or you can be a force flow type when it get to this close, okay, it just impulse shoot it out, okay. Now, so this is the stuff which is people talk about inch ching and so forth, inch power and so forth, or far ching and so forth. In fact, the Wing Chun uh, close body strength or inch power is based on. These five things, the two mechanics, remember the mechanical advantage, the tool, and the body type, the force flow type, and this impulse. It's based on this five component. Okay? It is based on this five component. It is not based on any single things. Okay? So in order to develop a holistic or comprehensive in Wing Chun, one need to be able to handle this five. One need to be able to practice and develop a skill for this five. Okay? Because Wing Chun it is a stick king body short strike art. One need these tools or this type of engine to be able to do the job. Okay? Now with this one need to have a dynamic seven bowls in order to really uh, good or develop skill in this five thing I just uh, shared with you guys. Okay, so every bowl from the feet up, 
feet, uh, ankle, knee, hip, your shoulder, which is shoulder bone, which is consists of the shoulder blade and the shoulder, your elbow, your wrist. All these seven bones, which is also consist the core of the body, has to be developed. Okay, it has to develop. Thus, one cannot stand in this easy karma this way and expect anything can come of it. Because what we're talking about, the seven bowl handling is a dynamic stuff, not this. This is holding, okay? It cannot happen with this, uh, what, uh, what we call the forward pressure, holding a structure forward. It doesn't work because it is a dynamic stuff which we're looking at, okay? Not some demo or some some kinds of pre-arranged stuff, okay? In the real life, which is uh, which term need to be used, and also not this type of thing, okay? Where the body lean backward and 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 uh, what do you call it? And uh, tilting the pivots and all sort of stuff. Uh, those stuff actually is opposed whatever the development of the, the, these five things which is needed in supporting the Wing Chun okay? and to even deeper level that's where the 633 come into play because to develop the, uh, the, the seven goals is uh, it's not as simple as one thing without the uh, 613, you need to know the details if you want to really master it. Okay? Now, so if one knows these five types, the mechanics of Wing Chun, which is, uh, include two uh, major parts, which is the Tuo and the mechanical advantage, the body type and the forceful type, or you know, or forceful is action reaction first type and then the input generations okay one actually uh, fuse them together in the in, in the real life uh, applications okay and uh, mind come into play mind come into play at an advanced level when these injections okay these injections say for example this injection one can use the mind to determine how far or how deep the impulse penetrate, or how low or how high one can aim the impulse using the intentions or visualizations. Okay, so there's advanced level. However, no matter what, we need to know the seven balls need to be handled, and these five things we go through a repeat a few times already here. And so it is not Tai Chi, it is not Mojo, it is not uh, Shaolin Wen Chun of uh, Hong Kong, it is not White Crane from Fujian, it is not Hermes Erzhuang, this is Wing Chun. And where it is? It's in your Chang Kyu sets. Okay? It's this simple. It has to be this simple because it's something you need to use every day. So, if you know this, what I'm sharing with you today, uh, everyone, every Wing Chun will be able to do this. Because this is like education, it's like driving a car. Everybody can drive this car, a car. Everybody can go to driving school and learn how to drive a car. As if one is a, a good racer, okay, or champion in racing, that's a different story, okay. Uh, how good is one can handle the the uh, the the, the, the uh, impulse injections? How good is one can handle the uh, the receive of the action reaction force? That's a different issue. That is about level, okay? Uh, how advanced one develop the skill? However, if one have this five and understand about the relationship of the uh, of the seven balls, then one have the basic educations and if you want, want to go deeper then 6 of in 3 is a must otherwise uh, one not be able to handle the details okay and even using mind and so forth all need that okay 
So this is uh, to share with you today and I hope that with this video we put an end on the uh, this uh, uh, fruitless search for past 100 years into internal art and so forth. Wing Chun is not Tai Chi, Wing Chun is not uh, other southern martial art. Wing Chun is written in your Chang Kyu sets. And we see it as what it is, we develop it. That is Wing Chun. Of course, Wing Chun cannot be everything, Wing Chun cannot be ultimate, or Wing Chun cannot be perfect because Wing Chun is the same as any technology. It is never been perfect, but it always can keep improving. And every generation here on, this my hope that Wing Chun get progress. So next generation is better than us in this generation, and the generations after this is better. So it's like computer. It keep evolving and getting better. Okay? So this is to share with you today.